Pentagon warns, US must be ready for confrontation with China. The US military must be ready for possible confrontation with China, the Pentagon's leader said, pushing Congress to approve the Defense Department's proposed $842 billion budget, which would modernize the force in Asia and around the world. This is a strategy-driven budget, and one driven by the seriousness of our strategic competition with the People's Republic of China, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said in a testimony before the House of Appropriations Subcommittee on Defense, according to Associated Press. Pointing to increases in new technology such as hypersonics, Austin said the budget proposes to spend more than $9 billion, a 40% increase over last year to build up military capabilities in the Pacific and defend allies. The testimony comes on the heels of Chinese leader Xi Jinping's visit to Moscow, which added to concerns that China will step up its support for Russian President Vladimir Putin's war on Ukraine and increasingly threaten the West. China's actions, said General Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, are moving it down the path toward confrontation and potential conflict with its neighbors and possibly the United States. He said deterring and preparing for war is extraordinarily expensive, but it's not as expensive as fighting a war. And this budget prevents war and prepares us to fight it if necessary. Milley told the Defense Department must continue to modernize its forces to ensure they will be ready to fight if needed. It is incumbent upon us to make sure we remain number one at all times, to be able to deter China, he said. Two decades of war in Iraq and Afghanistan eroded the military's equipment and troop readiness, so the US has been working to replace weapons systems and give troops time to reset. It's paid off, Milley told Congress. Our operational readiness rates are higher now than they have been in many, many years, Milley said. More than 60% of the active force is at the high states of readiness right now and could deploy into combat in less than 30 days, while 10% could deploy within 96 hours, he said.